Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Rebellion here, back with a brand new video. Now, I'm sure most of you are already aware that the spawns in the game have changed to the point where spawn tubing has become a bit more difficult than it needs to be. Now, I posted a poll up just last week asking you guys if whether or not I should make updated versions of the tutorials that I've already done, and overwhelmingly, a majority of you guys have said uh, yes, that it would be very helpful if I did just that. So, starting now for the next however many videos I end up making. I will be making new tutorials for some of the maps that I've already done. Uh, mainly just the good to be maps that is. And what better way to start that off than by revisiting the very first map that I made a tutorial for, that being Arklov Peak, which I still think is one of the best maps to tube on in this game despite some of these new changes to the initial spawns. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. So just like in my original tutorial, I'll be starting off from the attacking side, showing you guys how to tube the enemies that run down the what I'm referring to as the middle left path and the middle right path. The image that you're seeing now is a screenshot that I took of what the initial spawns now look like on this map for the attacking side. As you can see, each member of the team is a lot more spread out than before and is organized into two columns and three rows going in a slanted direction. And I'll be going over how to tube from each part of the team depending on how you spawn in. Now if you are lucky enough to spawn at the very front of the team, that being the front left or the front right, kind of where I'm standing right now, then everything that I showed for my original tutorial on how to aim down the middle left or the middle right path still applies and works very well so because nothing has really changed if you spawn right here uh, there's actually not much for me to explain right here. Moving on down to the middle row of the team so that being if you spawn in the middle left or the middle right of the team uh, everything still does apply but there are just uh, a few minor adjustments that you'd have to make which I'll show you right now. So, if you want to aim down toward the middle left path, all you have to do is aim at the left pipe right here, just like before, and look all the way up, and instead of having the height set toward the bottom right arch right there, we're actually going to be aiming it halfway up between the very top of the arch right here and the bottom of the arch right here. So again, at the very left pipe right here and halfway up between the top of the arch and the bottom of the arch. So the height should be set to right about here where I'm aiming right now. And just like before we're going to normally run for two seconds and then jump and shoot. And I'll be counting from one to three and it should look something like this. One, two, three. Okay, so if you do just that, the tube will land right here alongst the right side. So again, if the enemies spawn and they run straight forward and make their way toward the right, this is where the tube will land. Okay, and from the same row, if you want to tube the enemies on the middle right path, then you're going to look at the very right post right here, and then look all the way up, and again, about halfway up between the top of the arch and the bottom of the arch. And just like before, we're going to run forward for two seconds, jump and shoot, like so. One, two, three. And if done correctly, the tube will land right here amongst the left path right here. So again, if the enemies run straight forward and make their way toward the left side of the map right here, this is where the tube will land. So moving on to the very back part of the team, so that is if you are spawned at the very back left or the back right of the team, then you'll have to aim it just slightly different than how you would normally aim it, which I'll show you right now. So right about where I'm standing is where you would spawn if you are at the very back of the team. So to aim it toward the middle left path on their side, you'll have to aim just directly at the left pipe right here, and then look all the way up until you're at the very top of the arch right here, like so, and then you're going to get your tube ready, and then we're going to run forward for two seconds, and jump and shoot, like so. One, two, three. So 
So done correctly, the tube will land just about in the same spot right here, along the right path. So again, enemies run forward, make their way to the right, lands right here. And to tube the enemies from the back part of the team onto the middle right path on their side, then you're going to aim at the right post, but aim just slightly to the right of it, so right about there, and then you're going to aim all the way up, and you're going to have yourself aimed at the top of the arch again, like so, and then you're going to run forward again for two seconds, jump and shoot, like so. One, two, three. And if done correctly, the tube will land just about in the same spot as before amongst the left path. So again, they run forward and make their way toward the left side of the map from here, then this is where the tube will land. So before I move on to the defending side, I actually want to show you guys a few bonus spots that I've been using in my games. Uh, and the main purpose for these spots is if you are trying to tube the enemies that are purposely avoiding your tubes by either running directly to the left or the right, right when the round starts. So for these spots, I'll be referring to them as far left and far right. I just wanted to make one quick note that these spots are most effective if you are at the very front of the team, but they are still very much doable if you are still within any other part of the team. So that being the middle or the back. But I'll be showing you what this looks like from the very front of the team. Okay, so to tube the enemies at the far left, right behind the hostile building, what you want to do is aim at the very right side of this fence right here, this wooden fence, and then aim all the way up until you are just below the tip of this triangular cloud right here. So you would be aiming right about there. Okay, and then the way to actually have this tube go far enough to land at the spot that I'm referring to, uh, if you remember, during the Atlas tutorial I showed a spot where you would actually have to jump and at the moment you press your jump button you would shoot your tube. By doing that you would allow the tube to travel farther than normal. So that's what we'll be doing here except we'll be also walking forward. So let me go ahead and explain to you what I mean by all that. So again when you have this spot aimed up you're going to walk forward for two seconds and then the moment you press your jump button you're going to shoot your tube. Again this will allow your tube to travel a lot farther than normal. So this is what it should look like. One, two, three. So by doing that correctly the tube will land right here along this path that leads into the back of the hostile building. So again the purpose for this spot is if the enemies run directly to the right when the round starts to avoid the tubes initially down the middle paths there and they make their way toward the back of the hospital building right here. So you catch a lot of enemies by surprise thinking that they're safe but uh, no. <laughs> you got a tube that surprisingly lands right here. And now to two of the enemies amongst the far right side of the map. They're running toward the uh, jump up rock where a lot of snipers like to go, or we just look down the cemetery side of the map. So you're going to look at the very right edge of the metal sheet roof right here, and then go all the way up until you're at the top of the arch right here. And just like before, we're going to walk forward for two seconds, and then do our instant jump and shoot, like so. One, two, three. And if done correctly, the tube will land right here next to this uh, stone wall right here. So when the enemies run directly to their left when the round starts and make their way toward this side of the map, then the tube will land right here, whether if they run down this path right here or around the stone wall right here. So again, very, very effective tactic if the enemies are purposely avoiding your tubes by not running down the middle and you catch a lot of them off guard with uh, these tubes that either land to the far left or far right. Now switching over to the defending side, uh, this image right here, this is what the initial spawn looks like if you are on the defending side now. So this side has 
three columns and two rows a lot more spread out than the uh, original spawn from before. So just like from the attacking side, on the defending side, I'll be showing you guys how to tube the enemies that are either running down the middle left and the middle right. Okay, so if you are actually spawned uh, amongst the right column or the middle column at the front of the team, either that being right here or right here, then everything from my original tutorial still applies so if you spawn right here nothing has really changed in terms of how to aim it so I actually won't need to explain anything if you are lucky enough to spawn in any of these columns here. So our main focus for this side is uh, if you are spawned at the very far left column of the team so right about where I'm standing so whether if you're spawned at the front or the back of this column uh, I'll be showing you a tattoo on both the middle left and middle right paths toward the attacking side. Okay, so if you are spawned right here to tube toward the middle left path on their side, what you're going to do is look at the cross right here, the big cross, and then look all the way up until you are at the bottom of the right roof of the windmill right here. So again, at the big cross, aim all the way up until you are lined up with the roof right there, directly to my left. Okay, so when you have this aimed up properly like this, we're going to run forward, but run slightly to the right as we run forward for two seconds, and then jump and shoot. So this is what it should look like. One, two, three. Okay, if done correctly, the tube will land right about here alongst the right side of the path. So when the enemies run forward, grab the bomb and make their way toward the right side of the map, this tube will land right about here. And to tube the enemies alongst the right path on their side, past the truck, you're going to aim in between the cross and the pipe right here. So right about here, I would say. And then look all the way up. And again, just about at the height of the bottom roof on the right side, directly to my left, the windmill right here. And then this one you can just run straight forward, since you're already clear of the windmill right here. So, again, run forward for two seconds, jump and shoot like so. One, two, three. And if done correctly, the tube will land right about here, just a little bit in front of the truck. So if it, uh, if you have enemies that are running behind the truck right here, or if they're running uh, just in front of the truck right here, the tube will land uh, right here, close enough to both sides of the truck. So you should be able to pick off at least one or two enemies that run down the left side of the map right here. So just like on the attacking side, I want to show you guys two more bonus spots that you can use to kill the enemies that are purposely avoiding your tubes by either directly running to their right or their left when the rounds start. So for these spots, I'll be referring to them as far left and far right. Okay, so to have your tube land alongst the far left side of the map on their side, just slightly in front of the barn, what you're going to do is aim in between this big cross right here and the pipe right here, right in the middle, and then you're going to look all the way up until you're lined up at the very top of the windmill right here, the very tip of this roof. So again, in between the big cross and the pipe, all the way up at the very top of the windmill. So this will determine the height and the direction. And then just like on the attacking side, we're going to be using our method of walking forward for two seconds and then instantly shooting your tube right as you press your jump button. So this is what it should look like. One, two, three. Okay, and if done correctly, the tube will land alongst this path right here. So again, when the enemies spawn in and they run directly to their right to avoid your tubes that land over here, then this is where this tube will land, hopefully racking up a kill or two if they decide to run in this direction. And to have your tube land alongst the far right path on their side, what you're going to do is aim in between this pipe right here and this big tower right here, so right in the middle, and then you're going to look all the way up until you're lined up with the little cloud that's right here. So again, in between this pipe and this big tower, right in the middle and look all the way up until you're lined up with the cloud right there. 
and again we're going to use our method of walking forward for two seconds and then shooting our tube right as we jump like so one two three Okay, and if done correctly, the tube will land just right in front of the haystack right here. Sometimes you can get it to land a little bit more inward right here. But either way, the tube will land alongst this side of the map. So when the round starts and they run alongst the left side right here, this is where the tube will land, hopefully killing an enemy or two that try to avoid your initial tubes down the middle. And that's it. Those are all the spots that I have to show for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed, and if you found this video helpful in any way, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay up to date with the other tutorials that I'll be doing, as well as some other Modern Warfare videos, please feel free to subscribe to the channel as well, if you haven't already. Like I said before, starting with this video, uh, to however many videos I'll have to make for the other tutorials, I hope you guys are around for that. So... Uh, again, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. The night has come, it's cold and losing my control. Your light is gone, and lonely darkness fill my soul. I wish that you could save me from my isolation. It's way too complicated. Stop this conversation